Now to the long cleanup ahead from Hurricane Milton. We know at least 16 people have died from the storm. A historic 19 inches of rain fell in St. Petersburg. That's 10 times what the city gets in the entire month of October. Anna McAllister begins our team coverage from Tampa tonight. Erica Joe, Hurricane Milton plowed a path of destruction more than 100 miles from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic Ocean. Authorities spent the day assessing the damage and helping people out of the floodwaters. After the torrential rains, the deadly hurricane left entire neighborhoods underwater. Milton's intense winds caused a long trail of destruction, including blowing off the roof of Tampa's baseball stadium. The storm turned lives upside down, leaving people like Lillian Picard uncertain of their next move. All my apartment was floating. All inside, I lose everything. The 80-year-old Tampa resident says about a foot of water flooded her apartment. This is terrible for me. Milton took multiple lives and the toll has been rising throughout the day. At the same time, rescuers have been working feverishly to rescue survivors. This teenager was helped out of floodwaters. So was this man who was taken away by ambulance. Floodwaters came rushing into Lee Standring's apartment and the family couldn't get out. Our neighbors had to break our windows to let the water in. We managed to get our door unstuck. Milton spawned tornadoes in St. Lucie County, which reported several deaths. Everything's replaceable. Life isn't. The storm even destroyed the sheriff's office. Officials say rising water trapped more than 130 people inside this assisted living facility. Residents were moved to a sports arena at the University of Florida. Tornadoes began to pound Florida before Milton made landfall. There were more than 125 tornado warnings, the highest one day total ever for the state. In Tampa, I'm Anna McAllister, CBS News, Chicago.